For the 200th video on my channel, I'd like to highlight some of the free games on Steam I've enjoyed over the past year or two. The most recent one I played is the short and creepy point-and-click adventure called The Supper. It took about 20 minutes to finish, and it's both charming and weird. You play as Mrs. Appleton, a cook who has to make a meal for three strange guests. I wonder what's in that special sauce of hers. This game comes from Octavi Navarro, who has created a bunch of other pixel horror games, including the Midnight Scene series and the upcoming Book Lice, which I've been keeping an eye on. So if you're into pixel art and or horror adventure games, definitely check out their work. This next one is very odd and is described on Steam as a 10 minute dive into the unknown depths of the multiverse. This is War Room and everything in it is made of clay and has been animated using stop motion. You control this clay hand and generally do some poking around in weird places to see what happens. It doesn't take long to finish and much like The Supper, War Room is kind of a stepping stone into the devs other work. Isolamus is out now for 99 cents, and it's a little bit more of a horror experience. The upcoming Ultra Strangeness is about a creative entity trapped in a mysterious box, and Viseratum is about a biohacker up against a corporation run by a crazed biomass. A super awesome developer to follow if you're into weird stuff. If you're looking for a challenge though, Just Ski Plus will keep you entertained for a few hours. This is an arcadey game about flipping over mountains and making it to the end of a series of different colored zones. You control your rotation by moving your mouse up and down, and all you have to do is stick your landings. It is tagged as a psychological horror game though, so you've been warned. There are also achievements for making it through each section if you're into that. Developer Jeff Weber has a more refined version of the game with new obstacles and challenges called That Flipping Mountain, up on Steam for $6.99. A lot of you probably have played or at least know about this next one. Samarost 1 is the first game created by Amanita Design. It was first released in 2003 and is a whimsical audio and visual adventure about a space gnome. I don't really want to pick a favorite on this list, but Samarost reminds me of my childhood afternoons spent on the family computer and that's a great feeling. If you don't recognize this game, you might have heard of the devs' other projects, Botanicula and Machinarium, which are equally as charming. Amanita Design is definitely a great studio to follow, and all of their previous games should be in your backlog if you like quirky puzzle adventures. Now, I was a little bit hesitant to add a clicker slash idle game to this list, but Leaf Blower Revolution has a special place in my heart. That is because it can be completed in a reasonable amount of time. Yes, I consider 98 hours to be reasonable for a game like this, and because blowing leaves around is really satisfying. It takes the standard clicking that you do in most of these games and turns it into something a little bit more engaging. I know that a lot of new content has been added since I finished it about two years ago, but there haven't been any new achievements, so I'm counting it as complete in just under 100 hours. I mean, it's free. Why not give it a shot? Last but not least is the adorable Post Mouse, which is actually a student project from a school based in Denmark. I played this one for over an hour, and I didn't even find all the collectibles, so there's definitely a good amount of game here for a cozy evening. You play as a post mouse and basically run around, climb stuff, meet other animals, and most important of all, deliver the mail. I really love this quaint woodsy landscape, and I was honestly surprised by how many different areas there are to explore. One of the developers even posted a making of video, and I'm very impressed by all of this code and, I don't know, skill trees or something. Very nice work. But yeah, those were a couple of free games that I really enjoyed. If you're more of an Itch.io fan, I recently made a video going over some cool developers and the games they've posted on that platform. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs>